One of my favorite things about this time of year is camping out with the animals. I think it really creates a greater bond, solidifies a bond. I think the guardians especially respect me a, a lot more when I'm willing to be out there with them. And I learn a lot about what goes on at night. Um, sometimes the coyotes are really close. Sometimes they're far away. And I just think everyone appreciates that I spend some time with them. So that's why I like to sleep outside when I can in the summertime. And I like to see the Milky Way, which is not yet out yet, but it'll be coming soon. Just a really peaceful time. And I have all seven guardians out here with me. David, Tacoma, Solomon, Samson, Goliath, Ruthie, and Esther. And sometimes they like to split up. Um, and then other times they'll be together. Mostly at night though they split up. I expect a few of them will be sleeping around my bed here when it gets dark because that's what they usually do Really quiet night so far. I find the more guardians I have out, usually the quieter it is. Because if you have one guardian, they have to work really, really hard to tell predators that they need to stay away. But I found by having more, they're way more quiet. And when I have seven of them out, they feel so confident um, they don't have to bark or patrol as much because they split up and they watch the herd that way. That's Solomon here on my right. Good boy. And we got Samson on my left. Let's see who we have down here. We have David right there and Tacoma and Esther, and Ruthie's in the runway, and Goliath was just here, I think he's patrolling, and I'm gonna go to sleep. It's a really quiet, quiet, quiet night. Right about here was about 10 p.m., and this time of year, we get less than six hours of darkness a day. There's so much light, there's so much life. I love this time of year and I wish I could share the stars and the Milky Way with you, 
but I don't have the type of equipment yet that enables me to share that. But it was absolutely beautiful. And at the same time, my takeaway from this camping trip was something completely different than I've ever really thought about so much or experienced. I saw so many airplanes going in all directions and satellites. And I can see the highway from where I'm at and cars were whizzing by in the distance and so much more light. I call it light pollution. And, well, I know a lot of people call it light pollution, <laughs> but I just wondered as I laid there looking up at the beautiful stars and all the planes going by, of where is everybody going and why do we have to get there so fast and always be on the move? It just seems like the world is going quicker and faster and maybe not as many people just stop and stay home or stay where you're at or find a place you love and try to stay there a day, a week, even an hour. <laughs> and I know that's not always possible if you, you have to go to work or you have to be somewhere or take care of someone. But it just seems like everything is went into like 100 miles per hour ahead. Dogs and all animals teach me to live in the moment and appreciate and be thankful for the present time because we're not promised tomorrow or even the next minute. Where is she going to take it? Good morning, Ruthie and Tacoma. <laughs> They've all said good morning several times. And David and Samson and Solomon. Behind him, there he is. And Goliath. Esther, who has my shoe somewhere. <laughs> Am I sleeping in? It's 6 19 a.m. Where is my shoe, Esther? So I guess I better get up and feed everybody. Really nice sleeping out here with them being a part of their whole night. Thank you, Sam, for protecting me. Sam slept by my right or left side most of the night. He'd get up and patrol and come back. So did Solomon. David slept right about there. Now they're all beating up their mom, bothering their mom. Now that the sun is up, it that means playtime. They don't play at night. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed coming along. 
Borat little camp out. I uh, went to sleep on June 30th and woke up on a beautiful July 1st morning. Here at Bighorn Mountain Alpacas in Parkland, Wyoming.